Hi guys, welcome back to, whoa, spilled my, spilled my vape on myself apparently. Welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews where we try and review books and authors and occasionally movies in 10 minutes or less. Stay away from the, the high literature, mostly go for the entertaining books, the fun books, uh, um, or indie authors and lesser known authors. Uh, but today I want to talk about a major author, a major author, of course not everybody's heard of him, but definitely one of the bigger authors that we talk about on this channel. That is Harlan Coben. Harlan Coben. And I want to talk about one series in particular. He's written some, some great books. I believe some of his books are, are already being looked at as possibly becoming movies and TV shows. Um, but I want to talk about the series that initially drew me in. He's drifted away from. He's, he's written one new book within this series um, in the last few years while well, he's written a bunch of other books. Um, and it's uh, his Myron Bolitar books. Modern Bal Balatar books by Harlan Coben. They're fascinating. These are, are mystery thriller type books, um, kind of along the line, not really along the lines of like a Vince Flynn or Brad Thor, but, but uh, more like a Robert B. Parker type of, of, uh, of mystery and, and, and thriller kind of thing with a little bit of your Vince Flynn and Brad Thor mixed in based mostly upon Myron's partner. So Myron Balatar is a He's, he's a, a sports agent. That's what he does. He's a sports agent. He was a former NBA, uh, NBA player, NBA draftee that got injured almost right away. Um, that was a career-ending injury. So he, he moved on to, to becoming a, a sports, um, sports agent. But he also he has a little bit of an a investigative and law enforcement background, so he does occasionally uh, get get asked by clients typically to do some form of almost private investigative work or investigative, uh, um, um, yeah, investigative work is the best way I could put it. Um, or solve some mystery, uh, you know, clear somebody's name. Uh, each book is individual. They are, they, they, they wrap everything up individually. So they're all self-contained stories. The characters, since they carry through, there is some some um, um, you know overarching plot lines, but it's all those are all character driven. As some characters get introduced, then stick around, then grow, then become part of the family, or drift away. But the individual books, they're again, it's very similar to Robert B. Parker. If you guys read Robert B. Parker, and that the books are, are all self-contained, but some characters end up being so popular they they move on to to uh, uh, other books as well. Now. Being a former NBA player, Balatar's a pretty big guy. He's a smart guy. He's college educated, very, very smart, big guy. Um, studied martial arts when he was when he was younger. He's a decent fighter, decent investigator. He's actually a really good investigator. Um, he's a little bit damaged. He's still a lot of regret for not making it in the NBA because of his injury and and you know some past relationships. He's a little bit of an emo whiner at times, um, but. Um, Again, very fascinating, clever investigator. It's his backup that is most interesting. Again, to draw parallels with Robert B. Parker, if Myron Bolitar is Spencer, then his backup, Wynn, is his version of Hawk. Um, Wynn almost comes across as Batman. Windsor Horn Lockwood III. He's the rich, soup, the uber rich, multi billionaire, um, borderline psychopath, sociopath, um, serial killer that is uh, um, also has a, a law enforcement or investigative background, but more as a, not even a special agent, almost like a special operative, um, uh, world-class martial artist and weapons master. Again, he's got some, he's got some Batman similarities. He's basically used his money to, to train himself to an incredibly high level. Um, and again, sociopath, psychopath definitely looks at things a little bit differently, uh, but is utterly loyal to Myron Bolitar, who is also utterly loyal to him back. They are best friends. And Wynn tends to back him up a lot. Every so often, there's a book, there, there's something that pops up where Myron is actually backing up Wynn with, um, and helping Wynn out in the investigation. But oftentimes, Wynn ends up being the one that helps out Myron. He's got the resources. I mean, Myron's not broke by any way, shape, or form, but he's not a multi billionaire like, like Wynn. Um, Myron can hold his own in a fight and beat the average two or three people at the same time, but he's not Win. He's not not Batman. Um, 
Plus, he tends to hold himself back a little bit um, because he's he's not a psychopath or sociopath. So the two of them combined make for a fascinating interplay between the characters, and the books are are great. They're they're absolutely great. Uh, again, this is kind of a bigger author than we usually talk about, um, but he's fantastic. Not everybody's heard of him, and as he as Harlan Coben is starting to gain a lot more steam, and and I mean his books. Always released in hardback, always, all, always featured. If you go to like Barnes and Noble and look on their their new releases or, or their main shelves where they're showing everything, I guarantee you, the newest Harlan Coben book is going to be there. So he's gotten pretty big, and he's drifted away from his Myron Bolitar series. Now he has said that he's kind of tired of it as well. He may not ever write it again. Although the last book that came out was just called Win and was entirely focused on on Win and his his. Uh, his history and his past of his family that's a little bit darker and stranger than you may have thought from previous books. Um, so I'm hoping he goes back into this world. The Myron Bolitar character is absolutely fascinating, but he kind of finished Bolitar's arc in a way. Um, so, you know, getting back into it, let's say he even mentions it in Win and how Bolitar is kind of kind of finished what he's, you know, his life, he, not finished his life, but he's kind of arrived where, where his whole life was kind of heading and, you know, it doesn't seem fair to interrupt him. And, but he did actually do, he has done a spinoff uh, of the, the Balatar novels with, I believe, Balatar's son as same thing, kind of an investigator and mystery solver, crime solver. But the original Myron Balatar books, the series, it's absolutely fantastic. You guys have to check it out. Really, really good. So, Thank you everybody for watching. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Don't forget to comment or email me just to talk about books or suggest a book to me or ask me to review a book for you guys. I'm more than happy to do that. Otherwise, we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.